what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says find the value of a plus b plus c such that a b is equal to 100 b c is equal to 200 and c a is equal to 300 our first step we we'll start by taking AB times BC divided by CA. So we say AB times BC divided by CA. And this is equal to AB. AB is 100 times BC. BC is 200 divided by CA which is 300. Now from what we have here, C cancels C, A cancels A. So B times B gives B squared to be equal to, now zero here cancels zero, zero cancels zero. So we have 100 times two is 200 divide by three. So B squared is equal to 200 over 3. Our next step, we take AB times CA divided by BC. So AB times CA divided by BC. And this is equal to AB is 100 times CA. CA is 300 divided by BC. BC is 200. So we see that B cancels B, C cancels C. Now we have A times A, which gives A squared to be equal to. Now 0 here cancels 0, 0 cancels 0. And 2 here, 1. 2 into 100 is 50. So 50 times 3 is 150. So we've got A squared to be 150. And we've got B squared to be 200 over 3. So let's look for C squared. And to get that, we say B, C times CA divided by AB. So BC times CA divided by AB. And this is equal to BC is 200 times CA. CA is 300. Now divide by AB. AB is 100. So the two zeros here cancel two zeros here so that we have from the left A cancel A, B cancel B. So we have C times C gives C squared to be equal to 2 times 300 is 600. And since the question requires us to look for A plus B plus C, we're going to be making use of a property of A plus B plus C all squared to be equal to A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus 2 times AB plus BC plus CA. So let's make use of this property in the next slide. All right. We've already got A squared to be equal to 150. We've got B squared to be equal to 200 over 3. We've got C squared to be equal to 600. And from the question, we've got AB to be 100. We've got BC to be 200. We've got CA to be 300. So let's substitute these values inside of this property. So 
a plus b plus c all squared is equal to a squared is 150 so 150 plus b squared is 200 over 3 plus c squared is 600 plus 2 times now a b is 100 plus b c is 200 and c a is 300 now let's simplify so a plus b plus c all squared now becomes 150 plus 600 is 750 plus 200 over 3 so plus 200 over 3 plus 2 times now let's simplify what we have inside of the bracket 100 plus 200 plus 300 is equal to 600 so this becomes a plus b plus c all squared to be equal to 750 plus 200 over 3 plus now 2 times 600 is 1200 so this simplifies into a plus b plus c all squared to be equal to now 750 plus 1200 that gives 1950 plus 200 over 3 and moving forward we have a fraction here on the right hand side so this simplifies into a plus b plus c all squared to be equal to now in solving this fraction we're going to say 3 times 1950 that's going to give us 5850 plus 200 this gives 6050 all over 3 our next step will be for us to take the square root of both sides in order to cancel off this square let's do that on the next slide so let's take the square root of both sides so the square root of the left hand side a plus b plus c squared is equal to plus or minus the square root of the right hand side which is 6050 over 3 now notice that the square root cancels the square so that we have a plus b plus c to be equal to plus or minus now the right hand side can also be written as the square root of 6050 divided by the square root of 3 our next step will be for us to break this down we are going to look for the factor of 6050 such that one of the factors must be a perfect square so we have a plus b plus c to be equal to plus or minus the square root of now 6050 has factor of 3025 which is a perfect square times 2 all over the square root of 3 so this simplifies into a plus b plus c which is equal to plus or minus now this expression can be simplified as the square root of 2025 oh this is 3 3025 times the square root of 2 divided by the square root of 3 so this becomes a plus b plus c which is equal to plus or minus now the square root of 3025 
is equal to 55 times root 2. So this becomes 55 root 2 on the numerator all over. The denominator is the square root of 3. But since we cannot have a radical as a denominator, our next step will be for us to rationalize in order to get our final answer. So on rationalizing, we have a plus b plus c to be equal to plus or minus 55 root 2 all over the square root of 3. Now rationalizing means we multiply the numerator by root 3 and also multiply the denominator by the same root 3. So that we have our final result as a plus b plus c to be equal to plus or minus. Now 55 root 2 times root 3 is 55 root 6 all over root 3 times root 3 is root 9 so root 9 is 3 and this is our final answer well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.